Texas. Hey guys, it's Ben, Pro Se Coach here in Texas, coming to you from uh, World Headquarters, known as my home office on a Saturday. <clears throat> hey, I just hung up three phone calls in a row that were all about the same damn topic. So I thought, you know, that'd make a good video to talk to people about. Um, and that is, stop talking to your ex. Okay, so everybody just went, duh, Ben, I don't ever talk to him or her. But you're lying to me. <laughs> and all of these phone calls prove it. Let me tell you what you guys do. Um, first of all, you're recently divorced. And when you're recently divorced, tensions are high. We've got drama. So There's still a lot of emotions. People are pissed, hurt, angry, etc. Okay, we're going through divorce. We just finished divorce, whatever. This is not the time to, you know... You pick up your kiddo and go, oh my God, where's the other tennis shoes or the, you know, where's the kid's hat or the folder or the backpack or whatever the hell it is. Okay. That's how you talk to your ex. I know you're not calling up your ex and saying, Hey, what do you think about, you know, current events in the world or our divorce, but you're talking to them constantly and it triggers the hell out of everyone. Because, you know, you're driving down the road, just drop kids off, and here's your ex blowing you up. Oh, my God, where's her favorite jeans? And where's this? And where's the cleats for football? And on, and then you go, what the hell, woman? And you respond, and all of a sudden, what's happening? You guys fight over stupid crap. And this is so common, and, and so it takes practice, all right? And look, I know that this person was your spouse for, you know, a while, or if not spouse, you know, your significant other for a while. You guys made children. Got it. But they're not anymore. So don't talk to them for a long time, you know, until y'all can get to this point where emotions are gone. And it takes a long time. I've been divorced 16 years now. I don't care what my ex is doing. And, but, you know, but I remember early on that, yeah, I mean, those little th those little situations, they, they, they trigger these stupid arguments and, and we're fighting over like, can I be 10 minutes late or whatever and then they go no you better be there in seven minutes or else i'm leaving and we got all this stupid drama okay stop you know have a backup plan i mean i remember one morning it was you know we had a cold snap and my ex didn't send home the jackets so guess where i was at seven o'clock in the morning i was at walmart buying cheap sweatshirts to get through it because you know there's no sense in doing it any other way it's the only way to keep the volume as low as you can keep the volume. So, you know, plan ahead, man. Figure out what it is that you need. If, if we got, if you've got like a 50-50 deal and, and we've got sports and other things, then go buy your own damn pair of shoes, you know, for sports. Whatever it is, get to, uh, this is another thing, uh, guys are super guilty about this. Well, Ben, I had to ask my ex when the, the event for school is, duh, because I don't know, and she never tells me, so I have to ask her, no. Quit being an idiot. You can get all of the same information. Go around her or him. Call the school and tell them to put you on the email list. Get the calendar. Whatever the hell it is that you got to do. Stop depending on your ex to get you information or things, okay? I'm a big fan of people growing to the point to where they can kind of, you know, co-parent and everybody's happy and that's great. And, and everybody wants that, right? And you think you're starting to do that when you start these like, hey, did you forget the cleats or shoes or whatever, the folder or the thing? And then it blows up. And then we got World War III over something totally stupid and an $8 pair of cleats that you could buy at Walmart. Just go get freaking cleats. But, um, you know, but then in terms of information on other things like events and functions and doctor's appointments and other things... Figure it out. Make the call. Tell the doctor's office that if any appointment is ever set that you would like to know about it and for them to call you, they'll flag your account. Your uh, kids' teachers, send them an email and say, listen, I don't really get all the information. Could you please put me on the, on the daily email list? They have that. They email parents every single day. You know, and, and peop the family dynamic when you guys were together was one thing. And so I'm a guy, so I can say as guys, lots of times mom runs the house. I don't know when the school play is, you know, she tells me. I don't know when doctor's appointment is, she tells me. You got to change it. You're a single parent now. So figure it out and stop asking your ex. So that's today's lecture for your own sanity, for your own peace, man. And I know it takes a little bit of practice, um, but the quicker you get there, the better. The longer span you can put of just silence and just the most basic of, of communications about pick up and drop off and put time between this, you know, 
in two years when you guys are both dating and doing all the things, emotions tend to come down much, much quicker and the little things don't trigger you because, you know, other things and people and other things are, 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 the, are the focus instead of y'all, you know, being animosity toward each other. So try it. You'd be surprised how much it helped. Um, you can find me anytime at www.prosecoachtx.com. Just fill out the consult form at the bottom of the page, and uh, that goes directly to me. And then we'll book some time to just talk uh, about your situation. If I can help, I'll tell you. If I can't, I'll tell you that too. But don't lawyer up. You can do it. You can do it, and we can help you. All right, guys. Thanks so much.